including the new year, including the project discussion. So if you are still remember, you're still attending and revise the notes, we are in a part of JavaScript. Assignment two is all about JavaScript. People already asking me, uh, hey, what is the requirement? I I will write a spec in, as soon as possible, okay? I have too many stuff to do. Okay, so uh, the client side JavaScript means that uh, the thing that you will work on the browser, basically, okay? So nowadays we have server side JavaScript, so later on, uh, Mandong uh, will also talk about just server side JavaScript. If you are taking an IE RG of 4210, okay, well, last last Friday I have a very good chat with a with the lecturer. Okay, I do this very, very detailed course over the server side as well. Okay, so we are focused in the client side. So the client side, one of the capability that allows you to write desktop like software. So what does it mean of desktop like software? We, you run something on a browser, right? Uh, back in, uh, I guess, uh, back in the days that we have, uh, well, what kind of, let me think of my store. Uh, Facebook? No, Facebook is still not, not very good at UI. Uh, any good UI example? Maybe, uh, uh, maybe I pick Gmail, okay? So, uh, Gmail like a uh, UI design, okay, is basically the start of a, of a kind of a desktop experience. What do you think? You press a link, okay, usually you will have a page load, drive yourself script, and give you a new page. So I don't consider it as a desktop experience, right? I consider that, let's say you click on a button, then you have a, have a reasonable expectation that something will happen in UI and show you something. One of the very important skills or features in client-side JavaScript or browser-side JavaScript is what we call the DOM scripting. Okay, so what is a DOM scripting? Okay, so the DOM scripting is basically, I don't know whether you've heard of it, or you are using it without any, without any awareness. So what is that? It means it's construct the whole page as tree. Right? Understand what is a tree, huh? If you don't understand what is a tree, then uh, yeah, please automatically drop this course, huh? A tree. Okay, with a note called roots, right? So what is the root node? Uh, usually we call it root node. Uh, uh, it depends, okay, what, what is the context you're talking about. Usually we will talk about the root to be the window, the window object, okay, with the root, and then the window object containing the document, and so on and so forth, to make it as a big tree. We have uh, some leaf nodes as well. Later on I will tell you more about it. So what is the meaning of DOM scripting? The DOM scripting basically is to talk about how to transfer this tree, how to search for a particular nodes in a tree, right, this is very important, how to look for a set of similar nodes in a tree. And jQA, the, the, the library that uh, we, don't, uh, we don't want you to use in assignment two, provide a set of very beautiful library to transfer this tree, okay? So this tree uh, is something like this, okay? We have a HTML page, then it will construct into this kind of thing. You can look at that, right? The document, uh, the context I'm talking about is document, so I don't, I don't write down the window. Okay, the window is the roots. Okay, so we are talking about an HTML document. So you will find the roots is a document, and then the documents contain an HTML tag. Okay, so where can I find it? I don't know where the oops, what are. Uh, Jimmy, you send me something, <laughs> and it's been captured. Mm. <laughs> Don't send me anything, please. Okay. Uh, close the close the Facebook. Okay. So uh, it, I don't know whether you know it or not. Uh, you can launch the developer tools. Okay. I, any of you don't know? Uh, I I usually use hotkey. Where is the R uh, here? Yeah. Developer tools here. I usually just hold key so I forget about where is it. So uh, about the tree node, tree node, okay? You can find it in this window, okay? This part it's already organized as a tree, okay? It's organized as a tree. You can see this. Oh yeah, close it. Okay, the entire tree is closed. You can expand it and expand it piece by piece, okay? Then you can find it. As entire tree is here, okay? So the entire tree is basically the illustration of of this. PowerPoint, okay? It's equivalent, okay? 
And what we prefer, prefer to time the probe as a developer tool, so okay, we use another, another tool called Firebug to, to see this tree. Okay. So uh, this tree is containing, you can see this, the leaf block, what are they? The leaf block are not the head, because the head is still other nodes. Uh, the body, body still have other nodes. The P paragraph contains also other nodes. So usually the leaf block is either comments or tags. Okay, so don't say that. Oh, can I have a can I have a leaf look uh, which is an image? No, image contains other things. Okay, so we usually have a have a uh, test and comments. Okay, I go for oh I cannot skip this. Okay, so this cannot be skipped. So uh, what is it? This figure illustrates what are the components inside the object. Okay, usually this is the object we call it no. And inside the object, we have an array. What is that array? The array is called child nodes. So let me try that. Very, very easy, huh? So here, let's say I pick up uh, the documents. Documents is here, right? I can type document here. Let me in enlarge it a bit. So how about I type documents dot child nodes? Okay. And what is the return type? Look at the, the symbol here. It's an array. It's an array. So how big is this? I can look at the length and tell me two. So that means that inside the document is two leaves, two branches. And under these two branches, what are they? One is something like this. What is this? Do you know? Comments. It's some comments. And the comments is to declare that it is uh, the doc type, the document type. I highlight this mouse location, although it is gray. Document type as a comment to state that this is a document which is the HTML. And then the next branch under the document is this, the HTML. So as you can see in the, oh sorry, in the PowerPoint, I draw the similar things as one note, but there is another note in my example Another note is the comment itself, okay? And the comments don't have a further further notes, okay? So let's take a look. Uh, what if I go down one level? Can I go down one level? Very easy to go down one level. I can take a look at because the array array length is uh, two, so I can pick a zero one. It tell me that it's a comment, no use. How about the first? So I have to go down a bit so you can grab this object out okay and assign it to a variable child notes one okay so you can assign it into variable so this variable object is actually the entire big tree okay so that means that inside this tree you can have a oh, sorry it's pop up you can have another level of child notes and what is this meaning now this meaning change a bit by the saying that this obj i just uh, extract the html tag and this html document and the html document i extract is a child note with uh, again so it's actually an array telling me that there are five branches so that means what that means you have to look up your data structure textbook and take a look how to loop through this thing, okay? But usually I don't use loop, I use a recursion to transfer the entire tree, okay? Very simple. But this is the illustration here. So to transfer the entire tree is very simple. Uh, just use a very uh, simple recursion. The recursion I said is to show tree, I just want to show tree out, okay? And whenever I find a leaf, no, no, leaf, sorry. I find a long leaf loop, so how to know that this is a long leaf loop? The note contains the child notes and child notes with length equal to zero, then it's a leaf. If it's bigger than zero, it's not leaf. Okay? Then if that's the case, I will pick up one of the child and go on with the recursion to go through the entire tree. Okay? So but of, but of course this is not very useful, right? What I can have, I can only have for some drawing. I can transfer the entire tree, draw the uh, layout, so and so forth. Okay, I have an example called DOM tree HTML. So DOM tree HTML is in here. 
So DOM three HTML. So it will open up a new window. Okay. So what is this page? This page is just a very very. Oh, I should show you the the, the, the source code. Real frame source. So I just uh, write something that is human non readable so that you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay? Just uh, I remove all the space and make it become a, a set of things. When it put together, render on the HTML, uh, I mean uh, on the browser, it becomes something like this. Okay? When you click on it, you go back to our department. So you can, uh, let's say, uh, load, uh, load our page. Lower page, hit white, copy, paste, ask it to load it, and then view the DOM tree. So immediately you can see uh, I process it and ask it to display it on a new page, and I use recursion to transfer this level by level. Okay? So you, you, don't, you don't need to understand what is the drawing here because I by doing stops. Okay, because uh, if I have a new line, it break into two two lines. I didn't process it. Okay, so the drawing is sucks, but you can see that uh, we can transfer it in this way. Okay. Any questions? Anything you want to know more? I can transfer this tree. Uh, and the leaf node is a test and a comment. Okay, two possible uh, leaf nodes. Now we know there is a tree, and the uh, funny thing is this tree is not going away. You can add things to this tree in whatever location you want. Okay? So, and uh, this is the, 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 the name of the object, so I can skip it. Okay? Uh, I can also skip it because I, I, I just uh, want to show you the name. It can uh, be useful if you want to take more. So, I use another program to show you how to process this tree, how to add things to this tree. So, what is this program is about? Okay, so this program first will be driven. Uh, here is some uh, something about the events. So I didn't talk about events yet. So later I will talk about it. So you can uh, think of what is it? Follow the test here. It will delay for some time, delay for one second, and then I will execute something and execute this append test function. So that means that when I load this page one second later, this function will be driven. And what is this about? So take a look at this function. This function is very simple. I just uh, use a function document dot create test note to create a test note. Okay, simple test. And then I use one statement called document dot get element by tag name. Okay. Or you, if you know, if you know jQuery, okay, that means that uh, you you can use a dollar sign and do something. Okay, basically it's an equivalent, but I don't talk about jQuery yet. Here it means I go through a document, I don't need to use recursion by myself. I ask the document method called get element by elements. Okay, look at this S. Wherever you have S, then the return will be an array. Okay, if it don't have an S, then the return will be not an array, an object. Okay, so it return you an array, why? Uh, because I put a name there, it don't know what is the name is. Usually, you will only have one body. Usually, okay, one body. So I can hard code it. It can always find this body and put a zero here. So the entire thing it will return me an array. So let me do a very simple demo. The entire thing here. Oh, it's not the browser. This browser. Okay. So I zoom in, document dot uh, get element elements by tag name. Okay. Then I ask for a body. So if we turn me an array, or I can uh, look for another thing. Let's say I have a many many div here, uh, which is the layers. I have many layers in this page. So when I tap on it, it will put wow, so many arrays here, and it's a, it's a every array element is a div. Okay, so very simple functions that help you recursively transverse the tree and give you all the results. 
Now what I'm doing in my program, my program goes on with more things. I look for the objects. Basically, I want the document give me the body object, and I go to the body object now. I assign it to be a body element, and body element dot append child. So this that is a feature. It allows you to write to the tree. You can write to the tree and say that I want to append one new child, and the new child is the test element, which is this is a new string. Okay. So let's go. Oh, where is my where is my program? Oh, here. So it's a DOM tree. Is it DOM tree? No, no, not this. Which one? I can't remember. Oh, append test. Okay, append test HTML. Click on it, and one second later, I I I do it too fast. Reload. Okay, one second later, it appear new string. Okay, so as if I add a new component to this page automatically and um, and uh, without without any intervention from uh, from the user. Okay, because I set the time out there. Okay, so it is a way to for you to add components by using the same method. You can construct many many things like a like a Facebook. Okay, you want to uh, add a add a menu. Okay, so it's just a use some library to eventually call this append child to append this window like box and put it into the page. So this is the basic concept in how to manipulate the whole thing and the whole thing can be manipulated using JavaScript only. Very simple, right? So how about we can uh, do cascading with cascading. Cascading means that I add a layer by layer. Okay, so look at my end result. My end result is I have a body element being queried in the program. Then I append a p element, which is constructed earlier, constructed earlier as a p. So how to create a p? The p is created so simple. Create element. You put in a tag p. Then you create a p. You create element. Put in img. It will create img. Okay. After you create it, of course you have to put in contact. So that's why I call it cascading, as if I put it layer by layer. But when you construct the code, you have to do a, I would say, a bottom up. What is bottom up? You find the innermost thing first. The innermost things is a test. Is a test. Okay, I have a test here, and then put the test inside the paragraph. So put the test inside the paragraph. And put the paragraph inside the body. Okay, so you could expect that I will run it without any problem. This is a pen paragraph. So one second later, it is a paragraph, and I also print out its object type. Okay. So as simple as that, you can manipulate the whole tree, whatever thing you want to do. Okay. So that's why. How can we remove jQuery from your program. Okay, basically we will also do this as like a dumb, dumb scripting. I don't know whether you know how how many of you already know jQuery? Good. Then I ask you a question. Do you know how jQuery add thing add this library into your page? No one knows. No one knows. You just use it and believe it that it's clean. Show you uh very simple. It really very simple. Okay. First of all, uh, do you know that dollar is a function? <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you know, right? Because it's a backpack, and then you put in things, right? If you don't know JQ, no problem. I don't talk about JQ. I talk about what is the nature of it. Okay. So why is can be a dollar sign? Because dollar sign can be a very variable name in JavaScript. So there will be other libraries called underscore. Is it underscore? Underscore is a valid uh, name. So it constructs the entire library as a variable. And it's called dollar. And where is dollar? Okay, let's zoom in a bit. Huh? Window dot dollar. It's hiding inside the window. So what is the meaning? The meaning is 
whenever you load jQuery library, okay, and the library library uh, author want to have the library run it, I mean not run it, available, I should say, available anytime in your program. So how can how can he facilitate it to facilitate it, create a new object inside the window? Okay, so this is only be uh, be the only way that uh, you can access it whenever you want. Okay, so what I'm going to do next? What do you think? What if I do this? <laughs> what if I do this? Okay, then my entire page crash. Or any any jQuery function I have here. Oh no, I don't have any jQuery functions. <laughs> Any page app? Ah, Facebook. <laughs> Facebook should be using jQuery. Yeah? Mm. Let me check. Let me check. Okay, dollar. Right. It. What is it? Optimized. Oh, really optimized. No problem. Huh? Okay. So uh, let me change it back to the normal zoom. Okay. So I guess it is a. I guess it is using jQuery. I don't know. Okay. Let's try. I, I, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Whatever type. I, I, I type bad pace, okay? So, dollar. Dollar is still here. Dollar. Hey, come on. What? Oh, dollar is still here. Okay? Dollar equal to now. Let's see whether it crash. No. Yeah? No. It's still working. Hmm? My ma. Yeah. Eh? I cannot press enter. So it's now. Any page need using jQuery and it's a. Uh, whether my demonstrate, maybe my demonstration system works. Okay. <laughs> Good question. Let's try my let's try my my, my page first. Okay. So here is jQuery, uh, library equal to now. Okay, and it should fail. Hmm. Change. Yeah. It still works. Any any good page? Ah, go to jQuery sites. Huh? There is more than one way to access the jQuery object. There is another global variable called jQuery. But but I already but but my code explicitly used dollar. My code. Sure that you are referencing. Maybe maybe yes maybe yes let's let's try let's try. Uh, let's try again. So dollar now jQuery. Oh right, right, right. So I I can only I can only test test like this. I can only test like this. Yeah, it, it will fail. But right, I have already added and because of culture is it's already binding. Ah uh, yeah, I cannot demonstrate it. Right. Ah uh, yeah. Then how can I, how can I have a good demonstration? Okay. Yeah. I can. I cannot. Okay. So uh, yeah, forget about it. Right? Okay. So basically, we get a we get a stop. Uh, Jimmy has already find a find a thing to stop you from using jQuery. Okay. Then uh, how about in a way? Okay. Now this this alternative way, I I don't want to talk about it too much. Because uh, it will generate generate some of the problems, okay? Who have a uh, find some intern job or part time job that have to deal with IE, not IE department, IE browser. <laughs> no, no one needs to deal with IE. What is your part time job? <laughs> okay, if you need to, then you will understand what I'm saying. If you play with IE. Okay, or you work with IE, I should say, not play with IE. It's all, always IE plays you. Okay, not play with IE. If you want to uh, implement the code that work with IE, usually IE containing its own uh, implementation or own object's name, so and so forth. Like this in the HTML. Okay, so what is the purpose of inner HTML? Basically, you can uh, process the P element. Previous version is I use uh, all the DOM processing. I add close the 
the test inside the P object, and then the P put it inside the body object. Now I don't do it. I don't create the test object, but I create a P object. Here, I create a P object and use thought in the HTML to put it in HTML thing inside the object. And it should work. It should work. Okay? But in IE, not always. Not always. Okay? P may have in the HTML. And the most famous thing and the most horrible thing is table. Table, the row, the, 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 the cell of the table in a in a IE don't have in the HTML. Okay? And if you write things uh, using in the HTML tag, it fails. I mean uh, definitely, okay. I I have an experience, okay, I I write a system, okay, for OS, OS calls uh, like a like a registration and then I suddenly say that okay, I don't want to do it anymore because I want need to do it by year. Okay? And you didn't see this because uh, I I used it many, many years ago. Okay? So uh, yeah. So the DOM itself is basically is a very essential. Later on you will see this, I will couple it with uh, AJS uh, or what we call asynchronous uh, uh, HTML requests. Okay, later on I will couple with this. Also, as well as in your in your assignment. Okay, your assignment also coupled with this. Okay, then I can uh, use this append child, replace child. You can uh, replace the old child with a new one. You can uh, remove a child. Okay, well, I cannot. What? What happened? Okay, or insert before some child. You have a reference and insert it before before a reference using a new one. Okay. How about functions like a sibling? Okay. Can I add it to a add, I have an object. Can I find a sibling and add it there? No, that fancy. Okay. You if you want this kind of fancy things, okay, please use jQuery. jQuery has a lot of fancy operations there. Okay. So for IE, uh, why why everyone talk about IE and feel so tasteful, okay? This year, I don't think, why, why don't you guys feel tasteful over IE, okay? Or you you only use IE to download Chrome, right? <laughs> yeah, without, without any any proper use, okay? You just use IE, okay? So well, what is the thing about IE? IE has its own setting, okay? So previous uh, code, I add a function called uh, add event listener. You seen this before? And this app in listener, I can use it to test for something. Whether you are using IE9 or before. How? How? Very simple. IE don't implement this function. So if I write in window dot app event listener, run it on Chrome, no problem. It will give you a function body as it telling you true. Now what if IE? IE will tell you undefined. It's not implemented. So undefined means false. So it will return false to you. Anybody have IE9 now? <laughs> Don't worry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we have faith in CHK. I don't know, huh? Let me try, huh? Is the IE9? It should be IE10. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow, don't do that. Wait, what? <laughs> Hello? Huh? <laughs> it, it, it crash. <laughs> crash. Thanks for IE. <laughs> Wait. Ah. It crash. Okay. Windows sucks, huh? Uh, ITSC sucks as well. Okay. Who managed this computer? Ah. Okay. So, I'm gonna give Try it. It will fail. Why it fail? Because it uses uh, another thing to replace an event listener. It uses another thing called attach event. Okay? So if you are if you are old enough and being forced to use IE a lot, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I guess nowadays you guys don't use it. Because you you 
cannot uh, I mean uh, can, not cannot I mean uh, you really don't want to use IE okay so uh, for others uh, really are not very compatible like uh, you want to look for a coordinates in a in a IE IE use another way I mean old type of IE new type is good is better we expect Sparta will uh, this called Sparta 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 is a uh, not so brain damaging, okay? But the whole IE is very brain damaging. Like a IE use this to screen F, screen top. If you're using a Chrome, you use screen A, screen Y, okay? So the the better way is you are not going to memorize all thing, but use library such as jQuery. jQuery will, will map everything for you if you follow jQuery way, okay? You can solve the compatibility problem in a cleaner way. Clean away, okay? Because someone do all the dirty job, and there are some others a compatibility a website. Uh, they are not updating so frequently. I, I guess it's uh, very old already. Let's try it. Uh. Or yeah, this link is new link, but I don't know about the content. Let's see it. Uh. Uh, Dom. Let's see Dom. Uh, HTML. Okay, so let's let's talk about in HTML. Huh? I said it. Okay, in IE up to nine, incomplete. IE eleven, almost, <laughs> almost. No one else. Huh? How about uh, uh, who who say no or Firefox? Sorry. What happened to you, Firefox? What is the date? It's Thirty-two. Now it's not thirty-two. Okay. So I, that's why I said this page is not very up to date. Okay, any other funny example? Ah, here, probably. <laughs> Pop. How come is there's a name probably? Almost out of the test. Uh, how about some other uh, like uh, the event type? Uh, maybe HTML5 test. Okay. Or IE. I I get a quite quite good thing okay maybe this uh, okay let's see our uh, Dom events okay so what are the events wow Bucky mm. incomplete mm. E even up to IE10 uh. so uh, you can uh, pick, pick some uh, take some enjoy en enjoyment over this page okay yes, oh, which yes. where yes, yes. Oh, oh Bucky yes, yes. Yes, been like. Be. Which one? Nico. Nico. Oh, yes. Bucky. Yes, cool. yes, and then Bucky. <laughs> you know, software development is a process to add bugs. <laughs> okay? So you don't know how to implement things, huh? <laughs> yeah, some are. Oh, what's lazy? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, oh, lazy, lazy. No, okay. I want to say, I don't know. Okay? So uh, you can uh, you can take a look there. So for for the remaining things, uh, how about you want to query a specific thing? Okay. So what does it mean of specific things? Uh, previously I said uh, I can look up an array of things for you. You name we want to have a P. I can look up all the P. I can look up all the image. I can look up all the tables. Okay. So how about a specific target? So for a specific target, we need to use a wise voice. It's broken. ITSC things all are broken. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, you need to use the ID to in order to look for a unique item. Of course, uh, in your page you have to use unique ID as well. Okay. If you don't use unique ID, no one will help you. Okay. And there are other fields like a uh, name or is tag. Okay. So we have tag name, we have ID, we have name. So what other uh, I'm going to say corresponding functions that you can use. Corresponding function number one, get element by ID. Okay? Which is equivalent to if you are if you are um, JQE programmer, is it equivalent to what what happened? Dollar this one. Okay, if you if you're JQE thing. You love this or you love this document 
document by uh, it's very wrong A element by ID and double quote ID. What do you want? You want this, right? You don't want this. Sorry, assignment two. It's this one. Uh, huh? What? We can use query select. All right, let's talk about query select. Okay. So this is uh, JQE versus or what's this guy? Okay, this guy has a name. Okay, someone uh, tell me I have to advertise to all of you. It's called <laughs> yeah, you are laughing. We then a uh, JavaScript. We then a uh, JavaScript. Okay. You yeah, just use a fast, lightweight, cross platform, platform, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and, and then you ask for download, the download will give you a zero byte answer. Okay, because it's already implemented in your browser. What is the name? What is the name of Vidana? Vidana web is white. Okay, it's the original taste, right? Vidana ice cream, right? So it means the original taste, no other flavor, no coloring, no no special things, okay? You will use the banana JavaScript to implement all things. And of course, this page is for fun. This is not a framework. Okay, don't say that, ah, I'm using a framework called banana JavaScript while you're doing an interview, okay? The interviewer will immediately kick you out, okay? There's no framework called banana JavaScript. Banana JavaScript is a description over, there's no flavor, no, no uh, libraries course, okay? Uh, this uh, already up here, uh, we use a tag name. You can just A P H R E, uh, no, I'm sorry, A P uh, D I V, so on and so forth. <coughs> and then we can use, hey, sorry, sorry. we can use a uh, elements by name. So why name is not unique? Why name is not unique? Or uh, name is this guy, right? This guy is name. So why name is not unique because in Every form, right? Let's say you have many forms here. You can have a form with a name called a uh, login name. You can have this, dot, this kind of form. Let's say you duplicate it to one place from another, have one million copies. Then you have one million names of login name uh, uh, input box. Okay. So that's why this this guy, okay, is have an S here. Return you an array. The last one, which is the most most, where is it? The last one is the most favorable one. Introducing the HTML5 is called document dot not get element something, but QA, QA selector, which uses the same selector language that we use in jQA. Ah, that means that a uh, jQA lover, you don't need to change much. You can first write jQA version and change it in this way. Okay, this was this is a natively support call. That means every browser will implement this. Let's say I don't know whether whether Google page has this. Okay, document dot uh, not yet element uh, QE selector. Okay, let me guess. This input box should be called Q. Let's say it should be called Q. I don't know. I don't know whether it's called Q or not. Okay. So enter. Any any ID you can guess. Uh, maybe it's called QE. I am uh, wrong. Okay. So I fail. Let's take a look. Hmm? Select bar. You want to guess the name? What is the name? You guess? QB bar? A G what? G S G S R. Why is that? E? Oh, you E? You you see this? No. Where is it? ID ID ID. I cannot find it. E? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, GSR. Yeah, I can I can use the same language as in a uh, jQuery. 
Okay, of course, uh, I'm not going to talk about every kind of QE type of language. If you want to experience how powerful it is, play the game that Bandung has shared with you, the CSS selector. Very, very uh, close close together, these two kinds of language. Okay, if you want to know how jQuery reacts to your HTML5 intro introduction of this call, uh, if before we have a uh, HTML5, we don't have this call. We all rely on jQuery. So jQuery do the recursive call, recursive query, and get the get the results for you. And now we have the native call. So jQuery will be slower if jQuery don't adopt to it. Okay. So eventually jQuery adopt to it, and this is a story. The story I share with you. You can click on it and look at how jQuery start integrating this uh, native call since the version 1.43. Okay. So I guess time's up for the regular lecture.